Hello everybody and welcome back to Wolf Among Us. Uh, so, yeah. If you haven't have already, go and check out uh, the series. Um, well, you know. Um, yeah, go and check out the, the series. Um, there's two episodes uh, to catch to catch up but like from you know from this episode and um, yeah anyway let's start episode three a crooked line oh. subtitles audio Stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Uh, I, I can't tell you anything. You can't or you won't. So, I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once. I'm not yours to lose. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shit old club, the pudding and pie. My name is Larissa. Well, Larissa, I've got some questions. The open arms. Piece of shit. Crane? Ugh. God, you think you know a person. Maybe you have to tell her. I know. What's going on? What did you find up there? You know, other than the... I just need to find Snow. Why? What's going on? Shit! Crane's been... <laughs> Bigby, calm down. Everything's going to be... Okay, it's going to be fine. Will someone please explain this to me? Crane has been stalking Snow White. I have to tell Snow what's going on right now. Okay, it's it's going to be okay. But where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip track, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham Bridge. Trip track? Are you drinking? When? Right now. They were on their way out. Big B! Wait! What? Snow's... Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just... Please be careful. What are you trying to say? You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Here, then you were part of a very special circle. 
people she trusted and cared for. I won't have... Wait, what? I thought I had subtitles on. Yeah, I do. So what the four is the subtitles? Offend you by claiming one day that that the pain of losing Lily will ever subside. I know as well as you that it will never subside. But I also know that, that the memory of Lily will sustain as well. And it will, in time, equal in strength to our mourning her loss. What on earth do you think you're I know, I know, but something's happened. Not right now. No, you don't understand. I'm sorry, everyone. I don't get the fuck out of here. Polly, wait. He has no right to be here. Not after what he did. Holly, I'm sorry, but I had to come. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here? After you lie? After you promise me? Holly, wait. That was Crane. Just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Big B could do anything about it. I'm telling you the truth. Don't. Over for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Big B gives a shit about this. Holly, it's gonna be okay. I'm sorry, Holly. I, I didn't know he put her down the witching well. Big B cares, Holly. He's trying to help. And I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. But this one isn't on him. Why are you here anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? I think I know who murdered your sister. Who? Maybe we should talk about this somewhere else? What? No, I deserve to know. I know, I, I know, but this isn't the way to go about this. I don't give a fuck about the way. I don't care about procedure. I think it was Ichabod Crane. What? Crane. Crane. Okay, everyone, just stop. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat while everyone else gets back to the funeral. What? He says that fucking Crane murdered Lily and you expect me? Please, I promise I will tell you what the hell is going on just as soon as I know there's something to tell, but just let us do our jobs first. Look, Holly, I know how this must- No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. You hear me? I just want to get Lily's killer, Holly. Nothing more. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. It's your turn to talk. This is what happened? 
This is what he's been doing? Because please, Bigby, don't confuse things. You took a cab here, right? Yeah. I'll drive. Snow? Marissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting to burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be... Um, no, I understand. It's just that something's come up. No, I get it. Take your time. It won't take long. How'd it go at the motel? Did you find anything? No? Yeah. Lily was killed there. It was an awful mess. Oh. I'm sorry. Nerissa. What we can get. Scouts, the first thing in a visit, you say, how do you do? How do you do? What are you doing here? That is the question, isn't it? Or at least a question. We'll sit to the chase for all sex. A little bird told us at your feet to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we leave you alone. Just take a little vacation is all. Don't even have to go anywhere. You have three seconds to fuck off before this goes to a place you don't want it to. Oh, I don't have my stopwatch on me. So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone and we leave you to yours. Brother, speak your mind. Fastly now. Just don't hurt it. Don't sound like a yes to me. Always wanted to do things the fun way. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please, rest easy. This is not... What the hell is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly as planned. Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that. It ain't any of your... What deal? They want me to Crane alone. Crane? Oh, now you shouldn't have done that, old boy. Really? That wasn't right, telling everyone our dealings. Oh, four. What did I tell you? What did I say? Holly? Think you motherfuckers can come here uninvited? You think you can just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It was just a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. Holly, don't move. Holly, well, let me handle this. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead hole. I'm gonna kill you! Holly! Holly! Is he breathing?
That joke for a close mind. I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're gonna be sore. Bigby, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fable Town physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <sighs> Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. How's everyone else? They all make it? They're fine. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived. So I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. The Titans, baby. I'll be fine. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Everything in moderation. And uh, eat more chicken. Your blood pressure's through the proverbial roof. Look, I'm not the one who creates the situations. I'm just the one who has to deal with them. So you say. Business office. I know. I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White, Big B. So, to recap... Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms. And then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. We know this because Buckin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover it? And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan, currently. But I, I don't know. There's no other leads. This is it. Just wait for the mirror. Yeah. What the hell is going on? Just... I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if... I mean, this is going to sound crazy, but do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him. I get it. But do you really think he killed those women? Because it's just... It's incomprehensible to me. From what I saw at the open arms, everything points to Crane murdering Lily. What isn't adding up for me is Faith. Why would he kill her? Doesn't seem connected. Yeah, it, it doesn't make sense. He's he was a conniver, a, a coward, a liar. And I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes? Ow. Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. Just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. I just feel bad for Holly, really. Yeah. Time heals everything eventually. At least, I hope so, for her sake. Can I, um, ask you a question? It's kind of personal. And I don't want to offend you. Why? On your mind. It's just when stuff hits the fan, like like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city. It feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little <coughs> way, deep inside, you kind of <coughs> enjoy it when things go wrong. Because it gives you an excuse to just you know. Fuck no, I don't enjoy it. Are you kidding me? It's horrible what happened tonight. Wish it didn't happen. I shouldn't have said anything. Forget that I did. Uh, guys? What? We have a problem. What is it? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. What do you mean, missing a piece? Yes, it's, uh, it's not here. Crane must have taken a shard with him. Oh, I can't believe this. I 
I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. The mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. We can't depend on the mirror. All right. How long will it take for the mirror to reform? Well, it could take days. Or months, or years. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. We can still solve this ourselves. I know never that- Never mind that. Come help me look. witches would allow that sort of thing. They must be somewhere in the city. It's something, at least. Find anything? No, but there's enough notes and stuff here to take all night. Maybe check that stuff there. Sorry. 
They set the meeting at 2 a.m. tonight. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me... I called and... just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? No, it can't be fixed. It's missing a piece. This is none of Bluebeard's business, Bigby. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. A.M. or P.M.? A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. Define help. What do you know about Crane, anyway? That he has the stones to kill prostitutes like any common sex-frightened serial killer and not face a real challenge. Look. Know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's a sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years. Unofficially is not officially. Snow can obviously handle this, so let's drop it. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. <sighs> All right, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And that he'll be there at two. So, that gives us a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours, the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. Yeah, yeah. Just point in the direction you want me to check first. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two tweets know about this? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The trip trap is the better option to track the witch down. That has to be our focus. Look, chances are I'll have to swing by both anyways. No, chances are you won't have time. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock! <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I'm no interest in nicking his grapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh. Now it's evidence. Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. Bluebeard, you're not going anywhere. Really now? Then what? You gonna stand here and babysit me? While the rest of your leads evaporate into mist? We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or oh, the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And it's upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. This is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we are going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. Where are you going to go, Bigby? Okay, it looks like I'm going to have to choose. Find the witch. So you leave Crane alone, and we leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy, and I don't need charity. 
So you leave Crane alone, and we leave you alone. You and all your... He and Dumb must know where he is. I should go to their office first. Perfect. And I'll go to Crane's apartment. I'll look up their address. I hope you know what you're doing. Alright guys, uh, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please like, comment, and subscribe, and as always, I will see you guys on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye.